Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Want to thank you so much for hitting that play button today. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy this uh, content that I bring you today. If you don't know what I, this is your, again, your very first time stopping by. I am a local LTL driver for a company called Estes Express, the Big E. Great company. Enjoy working here. Uh, they've been uh, really, really awesome to me. Uh, I got to work with a bunch of great guys here at my terminal. Shout out 195 here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, but I've also been to a lot of other terminals. They're just as awesome. So, uh, but yeah, on this channel, uh, I show you what it's like to go around town and make deliveries and do pickups and uh, every on occasion show you uh, line haul, what that's like. You never heard of what that is. Uh, go down, check out some of the videos where I've done, you know, day in the life of a line haul driver. So I'm getting my morning started off, headed to, uh, I've got three stops on this first one. I'm on a, a what we call a pup route, a little 28 foot trailer back there. Uh, always fun to back uh, because they turn on a dime and I'm in a twin axle. So, and that, that just means I've got two road, two axles back there. So it doesn't, the truck doesn't move as quickly as you know a single axle wheel but uh, nonetheless always fun uh, pulling pups uh, the challenge of backing them uh, but I've got these three pickups the first place I'm going to is a major distribution center for a very large um, uh, I hate to even call them gas stations because they're more than gas stations actually I think that might be their slogan much more than a gas station <laughs> So I'm going over there to drop off uh, some Sprite and vitamin water and I think some diet Coke or something. I can't remember. Uh, and then from there I'm headed to a medical place to drop off some medical supplies. And then finally I'm headed to another medical place that does, uh, that sells wholesale. And uh, they a bunch of gloves and stuff like that. So two pallets there. Beautiful morning here in Tulsa. It's like uh, it's like 55 degrees. Supposed to be almost 70 today. Yeah, but tomorrow is supposed to start getting a little bit colder. That's what to be expected this time of year. Uh, again, a huge shout out to everybody who's been sending in photos of their trucks. Thank you so much. I've been sharing those at the end of all the videos. Um, if you if you're not sticking around for that, then you're missing the video because <laughs> I think that's probably the best segment of each and every video is showing the rides of the different uh, people who watch the channel and are out there delivering product uh, in all kinds of different countries. We got Switzerland and the UK and Australia, Canada, uh, Bahrain, the list goes on. It's amazing how broad uh, the YouTube spectrum is <laughs> that pretty much anybody in the world can watch one of your videos. Um, so that's awful cool. And I thank you so much for all the support, the thumbs up, all those great things. But guys, let's get into this video. I'll see you when we get over here. Well, we're just around the corner. Actually, it's right, that big old building right over here. But there's a big old Amazon location right here. This is a distribution center. All these bobtails lined up down through here. Waiting to get their, waiting to find out when their trailer's done so they can go in there and get it and take off with it. We just had another one of these built probably about two miles from here that's a fulfillment center. That one over there is just the distribution where the bulk stuff comes in. And then over there is where they actually fulfill the orders. It's a big industry, man. Look at this. I mean, just, they're always lined up here. You know, 30, 40 bobtails every morning. There's more to prime a truckload more. And right over there is Southeastern Freight Lines. They're, I would say it's a relatively new terminal. I, I'm maybe four or five years old. It doesn't have any dock doors on it, it's just wide open. So I'm sure it gets a little bit brisk in there during the wintertime. So we are here. It's like 
Woody with Old Dominion's beat me here. The gentleman been working for them for a long time. He used to run the Muskogee route down there where the East Driver is, but now he's coming in really super early so that he can leave early. So he's got the quick trip on his first run. No oh, Woody. One thing about pup, when you're back in this thing, is little movements. <laughs> Cause you may think, oh I need to I need to turn this thing. You barely even turn it and that thing just it's kinda like a dolly on the back of a whenever you're pulling doubles dollies react really quick on the end of your truck or trailer same thing with these guys and sometimes you once you do it you just got to kind of go back to what it was there we go I'm a little bit early but I know these guys in here they'll They'll hook me up. All right, guys, I'm gonna run in here and uh, get this uh, one pallet kicked off, which is actually gonna be three pallets or four pallets because I've got to down stack all this stuff. Um, but I'll be back. All right, we're done with the first stop. I always like coming here as a first stop just simply because you gotta get in there and you gotta move around a lot. Uh, depending on how many pallets you bring in, you gotta break it down, so kinda, good way to get the blood moving first thing in the morning now to answer a question of someone who's uh, submitted a question they said Chuck what kind of foam mount do you do you use so this is what it is on the back of my iPhone here I have this magnet and then this is a magnet and then this right here is a ram mount so to kind of show it to you I have this that's kind of screwed right here and then this right here connects by a ball this is actually a um, a, a GoPro just stuck to this magnet the, gro uh, the GoPro um, kind of mount piece and then that round piece there just goes into uh, clicks in like this so this is a ball that's built onto a GoPro connector and it clicks in here and then this goes on here and then I just uh, tighten it down and I can maneuver it wherever I want Went wrong way there Chuck And then this goes right here. It rides perfect. So I'll have that. I'll have that info, that stuff right there linked down in the description. I try to link everything that I use down there because people are always asking me different things. So I just said forget it and put it down there. But uh, yes, when I am uh, when I'm out driving, I like to listen to two different types of music: country from the '90s, sprinkled with some little modern day or current day country, and in the big '80s. Love the 80s music. Uh, Billy Ocean, Lionel Richie, uh, Def Leppard, White Snake, you know, all them crazy names, Poison. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I like listening to, old, uh, to the 80s on 8. I'll listen to it right here on my phone. Uh, but guys, I'm uh, leaving here. We're headed to the first medical supply place. So I'll see you guys when we get home. Now, after my last two videos, I've been getting a lot of questions about people who are looking to get into LTL or just people who want to know in general. You know, Chuck, do you like doing PND better or do you like did you like doing line haul more? And I tell you what, for me they're really, really close. PND, of course, there's a lot of benefits to doing PND. You stay active all day, you're working during the day, you go home every day after, you know, 10 hours or so. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Um, you know, so there's a lot of benefits to PND. Now, there's a lot of downsides to PND. It is, it can be physical sometimes. Uh, you have to deal with customers. You have to deal with, um, you know, you're you're constantly dealing with uh, just, you know, dispatching. You're dealing with, you know, there, you know, there's just a lot of backing situations uh, not knowing where you're going for a lot of people that can you know bring on some anxiety you know I have never been to fast know how do I get in there and you know so there's there's there are some things that come along with 
being PND that can be stressful, that can wear you down, uh, can cause you to have a limp over time just because you're pulling freight, you're pushing freight. You know, there's a lot that goes into being a PND driver. Line haul, yeah, the physical side of it isn't near as demanding. You got to deal with hooking sets, but that's really not a big deal unless you may happen to be on a yard like in Springfield, Missouri, where you know uh, you got some potholes or you got you know it's kind of more on a rock versus a pavement type situation. Um, and I'm having to bend down because I got to look at that light. There we go. But overall, you're just basically driving. And, you know, you may start off your week as an extra board driver. There's three different types of drivers that are in the line haul division. You have what guys that are, have bid runs, meaning they work Monday through Friday. They come in every night, 7.30, 8 o'clock, you know, depending on what time their cut time is. And they run to another city, another terminal. And kind of like what you saw, saw me do going to Kansas City. And that was Kansas City, Kansas, by the way. Some people were asking about that. Other people go and meet another driver. So we have uh, like we have two guys that come out of our terminal that go to Clarksville, Arkansas, and meet two Memphis drivers, and they swap sets and go back to their home terminal. Uh, we have guys that are called um, uh, hub drivers, where they may work the dock, whether at their home terminal or their away terminal. So they may like work the dock here in Tulsa for a couple hours drive to Springfield, work on the dock there for a few hours, and then drive back. And then we have extra board drivers, and extra board drivers are exactly that. They carry extra freight. So after those bid guys all left for the evening, uh, you'll have extra board drivers that will come through and pick up the additional freight that your bid runs couldn't take. Uh, and those guys leave. Uh, they all have different, uh, different days that they leave out. Some leave out on Monday, come back on Friday, and others during the course of the week. When I ran it for a while, I left on uh, Thursdays and came back Monday night, Monday, you know, over the morning and Tuesday morning. Um, but those guys make the most money. They uh, get to see more of the country. They're driving literally from terminal to terminal. You could be in Dallas one day and be in Nashville, Tennessee the next. Uh, so it's kind of you stay in a hotel. Uh, the, it, I mean, it's a... It's something that you can do for a while, but ultimately, I'd like to have a bid run. I'd like to do the Kansas City run at some point. Uh, but, you know, you do sometimes have to cut your teeth through the extra board if you're in a smaller terminal, which uh, after here in January, I'm going to be moving from PND back to Line Hall permanently. And uh, with the expectation of in the future being able to land one of these bid runs, I've got to start getting my line, uh, I've got to start getting my line hall seniority because right now I'm really not building any of that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just some information. We're here at the next place, and they open up here in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get back to the door here. What I typically do is go in this third door right here. See how close we get. See how close we get. Look at, look at that, look at that. Just, it's all about to set up. And that's what, a, a new driver, that's just something that takes time, learning your truck, learning your trailer. And you just get used to seeing certain points and you turn to those points and you kinda, you get a feel for backing, really. I think more than anything. Yeah, but there's some days it's like anything else. You're like, dang, did I just get my license yesterday? <laughs> Some days you just can't back where the flip. All right, so hit this dock here, hit it gently. All right, guys, I'm going to go in here as soon as they open up, get this one kicked off. Now, the next place I'm going to, I'm going to actually, it, they don't have a dock where I'm going, so I'm going to film me actually doing it, because I've had some people say, Chuck, we really enjoy seeing you, you know, get out of the truck and, you know, and actually go do this line of work with the hat cam. So, places I can, I'll definitely do that, and so I will see you guys when we get to this next one. All right, our next place is right up here next to the old... Hostess or Wonder Bread, and I—I I think I misspoke earlier. I said um, a position where a, a driver works the dock and then works another. That's actually a combo driver. 
Uh, combo drivers can do pretty much, you know, they, they're kind of classified to do whatever. Uh, my son. Alright, this place right here. You turn in and you kind of go around their facility and you come back out. This is a this is always fun in a van. Luckily, we're in a pup. That's what's pretty good about our dispatcher. For the most part, he knows. That's all you know. When a dispatcher knows their freight, they know the customers. They know what's there. Usually, because drivers will come back in at some point and say, "Hey, next time send a pup in that place." You know, there, there's no reason. Can you make things work with a 53? Yeah, you can. But, you know, why push it where you're barely missing stuff? And, you know, like this facility here. I mean, yeah, you can get in and out of here. You know, pretty much no problem with a 53. But, hey, why do it if you don't have to, right? Alright. What I'll typically do when I get to places, I'll, you know get what I'm bringing here to the back and then if something what hasn't come out then I'll go in there looking for them. now another big thing when you're getting first getting started in this you may have a route you may not know all your cut you may not know all the places you're going to you're like, you know Chuck I wonder if I'm gonna need my pallet jack I'm gonna tell you this even if dispatch says oh you won't need a pallet jack if you don't know where you're going take the pallet jack <laughs> You'll get to some places and they'll tell, oh yeah, they got a dock, and you get there and there's no dock. Because maybe they thought it was somewhere else. So. Since no one's come out yet, I'm gonna go in there and try to put that down, see if I can find somebody. Hello, hello. Hello? Hello, hello? be in the other building on the other side so sorry I got one called in sick <laughs> that's all right I figured somebody was in here somewhere yeah, I think I got one in the bathroom and one sick. <laughs> well if they're sick you don't want them up here cut off or not I was sitting there talking all of a sudden I heard the camera go beep, beep, beep. 
<laughs> so that means sometimes that it cut off like maybe five minutes ago. Sometimes it means it just cut off. Well, regardless of where that cut off, I'm sorry if I didn't get to show you that entire stop back there where I was delivering those gloves. Uh, but guys, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the comments. I really do. Um, because I know that this has been beneficial to a lot of people. A lot of people are coming into this industry. But not only that, some people just follow because, hey, you just want to come and ride shotgun with me and see uh, the city of Tulsa and uh, what it has to offer from the P&D side. But guys, until I see you at the next video, I always want you to remember, we get, we get so used to just getting up and just having the norm, being in that daily rut. It's just another day. You know, you ever talk to people, you know, how's your day? You know, we just kind of say things about, oh, good, oh, you know, you know, it's Tuesday, oh, it's hump day, it's whatever. Man, enjoy today. Seriously enjoy today. Uh, because life is truly short. So make sure you make it sweet. Guys, let's check out some of your amazing trucks out here delivering the products that your communities need. Guys, we'll see you at the next one. Peace. It is within each other to forgive and make amends If I am no 